What's good YouTube? It's your boy Rudy back at again with a video on how to help you guys become successful in your basketball careers. Now basketball is a competitive team sport that requires a lot of hand-eye coordination, quick thinking, and good judgment skills. Now the goal of this game is to get the W. And because let's be honest, no one likes taking L's, am I right? I'm Dr. Rody, and I'm here to help spread the word of basketball and promote it as the best sport in the world. Uh, probably in the galaxy, because let's face it, it really is. Sit down, relax, and take notes, because after this lesson, you'll be addicted to playing basketball for the rest of your lives. So let's get it. So what's my first tip for you guys? The first tip, and probably the most important tip, is to buy a good basketball. Now, I recommend two brands, the Spalding or the Wilson brand. Now, I, ba I recommend this based on personal experience. I do play with the Wilson one myself, and it's been working out great, uh, working out very good for me. Now, I play outside most of the time because I'm too broke to afford like the gym and shit like that. But um, every time like I shoot the ball, I can feel it like you know go off my tip like very easy, off my uh, palm very easily, and I can like you know play well with it, play well with others with it, and um, yeah, a lot of people use it as a game ball. So definitely re recommend Wilson or Spalding to try. I play Spalding with the Spalding basketball uh, quite a bit also. I think I do have one. I have like three basketballs in my trunk. Can't keep track of it. Yeah, let's move on. That's the simplest tip I can give you guys, so let's keep going. It's time to play. All right, actually that's a little bad, but anyways, my second tip for you guys is repetition and consistency. You want to be repetitive and consistent as much as possible while playing basketball. Now, for example, when I used to suck actually, um, I started in sixth grade while playing basketball and um, the thing I remember is I was usually the last person to get picked while playing like you know for captains you know stuff like that um, because of like how trash I was but like the more I kept practicing um, from different sides of the field layups, uh, shooting threes, uh, backboarding my layups, uh, floaters, you know those kind of drills. Now, also, you want to be consistent. That's the key. That's the key in basketball, you guys. You want to be consistent to be as good as possible on the court and to stay in your prime or whatever. Now, I'll give you guys an analogy or an example, actually. Um, you fellow gym heads or gym addicts out there, you know who I'm talking about. Um, I used to gym myself. And people, who's, you have to stay consistent in the gym to be, you know, big and strong and stuff like that, you know? Um, to get like a ripped body with abs, um, a chest, stuff like that. I, I used to do that, but then I stopped because I got so busy right now. But um, yes, that's like the same analogy with basketball. You want to stay consistent outside of the court. You want to shoot as much basketballs as you can. Go out there and practice with people. You know, you just get, uh, expand your horizon, expand your um, knowledge in the game of basketball. Expand, try new tricks, practice your handles. You know, stay consistent to become good as basketball good at basketball. Moving on to number three. Now my third tip for you guys is to play with other people. Now obviously if you want to get better you have to play with other people. Um, for example they don't even have to be that good. Um, for beginners I recommend like creating a niche or forming relationships and bonds with other um, be other beginners to help kickstart you off in the right direction because obviously they don't know how to play, you don't know how to play, you guys are comfortable with each, each other because you guys don't know how to play, you know, you have that same um, bond, I guess you could say. And um, you know, create games with each other. Make it as fun as possible because not only do you want this to be a learning experience for you, but also a learning experience for everyone around you to hopefully get better at this sport. Now, uh, create games such as, what well, is not created, but it's already created. Like, play games such as like 1v1, 21, horse, pig, uh, th have a three point contest, free throw contest, um, was it, um, knockout, those kind of games. Now, for example, me and my friend, we created a game. Um, shout out to my boy Joe. Fuck. I mean Gunner. Uh, shoot. Uh, I mean Gunner uh, because uh, we created a game with, with one another and it's called... Um, actually, there's no name for it, but for example, there's like a court like right here. Pretend this is the court. And then he would be over here and I would be over here. And we just keep taking turns shooting um, the sideways shots. And, uh, every time we make a shot, we would have to move backwards to make it a little more challenging for us until we hit like the far three-point corner. And this actually helps you a lot on your 
uh, the sideways shot because a lot of people can't shoot the sideways shot a lot so um, this definitely helped me as well as it helped him now if you guys follow these three important tips I guarantee your skills will get better and you will be successful on the court now if you guys say you're gonna do something then do it don't just stay there you know laze your ass off uh, watching Netflix all day anime anime porn basketball is a game of patience and I guarantee that if you guys implement these three important tips, uh, hopefully you guys took some notes because it's very important. And if you guys implement these tips, I guarantee you nothing will come up success from it. So hopefully, see you guys on the court. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, comment, and hit the subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to share this video with your family, friends, and people that just love basketball in general. And with that said, I think it's about time your boy signed out. As always, thanks for watching. Peace, y'all. Thank you.